All right, guys, so here's uh, my meal for the day. <coughs> Got some uh, bison burger. Um, I just uh, prepared it like a Salisbury steak almost. Got me an avocado and some mixed vegetables. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this bison first uh, without anything on it, just so I know. That is really good, guys. That is awesome. Then I'm gonna try it with uh, this Montreal steak seasoning. This is one of the best seasonings I have ever found. And it goes great with, with meat, for sure. <clears throat> and I just love it. I'm so glad that I that I found out about that seasoning. And then I might put like a little dash of mustard on there or whatever. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Well, that tastes really good. Um, Montreal steak seasoning is fantastic. It's really good with the Dijon mustard too, the spicy brown mustard. But, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I, I could eat it just plain. That's some good stuff. Yeah, so I got my avocado there. Um, for anybody who is interested in uh, bodybuilding type work workouts or, uh, you know, they just want to get stronger or whatever, <clears throat> uh, including healthy fats in like every meal is uh, a great tip. So, yeah, because uh, what fat does is it, it kind of helps. It helps the protein get where it needs to go. So, um, having healthy fats at every meal is probably probably about as important as having enough protein. And uh, that's something that isn't talked about a lot and not a lot of people know about. But yeah, healthy fats for sure is a, is a great, great way to help you with your building muscle. Um, on the nutrition side of things hey everybody uh, I got all the way to the gym today and I realized that my phone was dead so uh, no gym footage today um, my bad uh, <laughs> man it felt good to eat some real food today um, I'm so glad that I have my diet food now uh, it's just it's night and day difference um, I was feeling a little crappy this morning, and then I, I got in. I drank a, I drank one of our buy fives uh, that we sell. I work for Pepsi. If I hadn't mentioned that yet. Anyways, I, I, I had known about this for a while, but I never really paid m much attention to it. And I remembered that there were some antioxidants in them. Um, so I tried drinking one of those today, and I like instantly felt better. So uh, I guess my body needed that. And then uh, after I got home from work, being able to eat that real food, man, that just really hit the spot. Um, and, you know, who knows, maybe that's, uh, I mean, I, I'm i am convinced that that's why I was feeling so crappy. I mean, with the, with the amount of work I'm putting in the gym and then to come home and all I have to eat is frozen pizza or ramen noodles, I mean, that, that's, that's got to be the reason. So, um yeah, I'm feeling really great now. Uh, so, you know, I guess we'll see if it lasts. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's just the reason. It's just like some mal malnutrition or something that was making me feel so bad. And then on top of it, you know, hitting it so hard on the gym, I really needed, uh, you know, some nutrients. I, I, I think that was probably what the problem was. So anyways, it, it feels pretty great to... To have my diet food now um i i guess if you're if you're struggling to to uh get on a diet then just go lift really heavy for a bunch of days in a row and eat crappy food and then you'll crave natural food <laughs> don't do that um <clears throat> but anyways uh so i got some equipment coming um i ordered some stuff out off of Amazon. I got an Amazon Prime account, so uh, 
should be coming uh, I think I think most if not everything is coming on Monday so um, yeah I'll have like a tripod and uh, uh, I think I bought a selfie stick you know for if I'm on a walk or something or so that you guys don't see just my head in my videos just a talking head that'd probably be nice um yeah and then I also bought a scale um I, you know I got to thinking if if I'm gonna be trying to build muscle at the same time this time around then I kind of want to be able to measure my muscle mass so um, I think that'll be a good investment and I got a really good deal on a scale that I never would have bought had it, had it not been on sale um, I got a pretty steep discount on it just because the box is damaged so yeah I, I really scored on that so I'm pretty happy about that and I'm pretty excited for that to that to come in so yeah there'll be a unboxing video soon I guess I don't I don't know um, uh, yeah part of the reason I got the scale is because I got jealous of of Mike if you're watching uh, countdown from 40 <laughs> so that's part of the reason I was jealous too, but um, I, I really think it will be beneficial for me to have uh, have uh, the ability to measure my muscle mass too. I, I really do. Um, I think that's a sound investment. So, so yeah, um, I guess that's it for today. Sorry, there's no gym footage. Um, unfortunately, I didn't didn't realize that my phone was dead. I, I use my phone for like everything, so um, you know I don't have a camera or anything. And, like most most uh, starting YouTubers probably probably do. So um, yeah, I guess that's it for today, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey everybody, I forgot to discuss uh, this morning. I weighed in at uh, I believe three fourteen. I think I was three thirteen, and I I weighed in at three fourteen somewhere around there I don't know what the points were or whatever the the measurement will be in the video but um anyway so I I think that was like a pound gain or something like that and uh uh that's another reason why I probably felt so bad yesterday I, I'm very certain that I was dehydrated so um but yeah I want to make sure to talk about that because uh I'm pretty sure it was it was because I was dehydrated and uh so I wanted to discuss that pound gained um i think it's important to note uh because it just it falls back on on what i said before is that the scales can fluctuate so much and so you know don't worship it if that makes sense you know don't don't uh don't dwell on the scale if you can you know measurements or body pat percentage I mean that's ideal but you know if all you got is a scale just keep in mind I, I've had days where I've literally gained 10 pounds in just water so I mean I, I just thought that was an important thing to note uh, that goes back to uh, you know not not uh, taking taking the scale extremely seriously you know um, and I can I can tell d the difference in the mirror and everything and so you know and I've been down this road quite a few times I you know I've died quite a few times I've lost a bunch of weight a few times um, so I I know better but uh, you know if, if there's anybody out there watching who it's their first time or uh, you know their first potential time succeeding or something like that and you know and and they don't realize this it could be it could be a really important thing to note so yeah i can't stress that enough is don't don't take the scale too literally that's it for today guys we'll see you later <laughs>